Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn step by step how do we download and set up Eclipse. Eclipse is an IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. So any platform that you can use for development or creating development projects is called as Integrated Development Environment and Eclipse is one of them. And we are also going to see the features we will take a GUI tour we will see the different sections and see some high level features of Eclipse this is going to be very easy and very interesting so let's get started and we are going to see both on Windows and Mac how do we set up Eclipse the first step is we will go to the Eclipse website which is eclipse.org and go to the downloads section and here we will have options to download Eclipse. So let's see as of now I am on my Windows system. I will go to the browser and here I will search for Eclipse download and here you can see this website that we get Eclipse.org. This is the official website. I will go here and here you can see this is the Eclipse.org downloads page and here we have options to download Eclipse. Now here if you click on this download Eclipse this will take you to this page where you can download the exe file and then you can run this installer to set up Eclipse if you do the same thing on a Mac operating system. So I'm here on a Mac system and if I go to the same page I will say Eclipse uh, download and I'll go here and here you can see if I go here and click on download it will download a DMG file that we can double click keep in our applications folder and then we will have Eclipse installed on the system. Now for Windows there is one other way if I go back to this page Eclipse downloads you can see we have got this download packages link here. If I go here, it takes us to this page where we have different packages that we can download from here. So we have Eclipse IDE for Java developers, Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java and web developers, Eclipse IDE for C, C++ developers and so on. There are so many other options here. So for us generally and for our use, we will need Eclipse IDE for Java developers and here we have these options for Windows, Mac and Linux. So for Windows I will go here and click on this link and here we have got an option to download a zip file. So I will click here and you can see it has started download here. So it will download this zip file and once it is downloaded you can extract it at any location on your system so here we have seen the first option was to download the installer and then use it run it to install Eclipse and the second option is to get the zip file or the zip folder and unzip it and start using Eclipse so this is what we are going to do uh, let me see it must have downloaded in my downloads folder here and yes you can see it is here so you can keep this you can extract and keep this folder anywhere on your system wherever you can you have the permissions and you can use it in my case I will cut it from here you can also use control X on your keyboard to cut and I'm going to my D drive and I keep all the tools in this tools folder and here I will create a new folder you can press Control shift and N key on your keyboard to create a new folder or right click new folder I will call it Eclipse now I'm doing this because I like to keep all my tools in this tools folder you can use any folder wherever you want to keep it and I'm going to paste the zipped folder here and here I will go to I will right click and extract I will say extract all now you can see it will extract to a folder with the same name which is Eclipse Java 2023 all this if you want you can remove this part so it will directly extract the folder 
in this Eclipse folder that I have created. So I will say extract and this will start extracting. So this can take some time based on your system configuration. So you can wait until the extraction is over and here step number two is after installation we have to set up and start Eclipse. So if you are on Mac you will have the DMG file you can um, run the DMG file keep it in applications folder and then you can press command and space on your keyboard this will bring up the spotlight search and then when you will start typing Eclipse it will show it it will show the application here and you can start it from here or you can go to your applications folder and it will be here you can also start it from here as of now I have not added it on my Mac I am doing it on Windows but once it is started once you have Eclipse and you start Eclipse, the steps are going to remain same for Windows and Mac. Okay, so let it complete. Okay, so we have got our Eclipse folder here. If you want, you can now remove this folder, this zipped folder, you can delete it and if you go now inside this folder Eclipse you can see all these folders and files and here is the application Eclipse application that we need to start Eclipse alright so now I will click double click here to start Eclipse and you can see it is starting Eclipse So whether you are on Windows or Mac, once you start Eclipse, all the steps from here are going to remain same. Now the first thing it asks us for a is for a workspace. Now a workspace is like a folder on your system where all your projects that you create on Eclipse and all your settings that you will do in, on your projects, everything will go in that particular folder called as Eclipse workspace. You can also rename it, you can keep it at any location on your system, for example, I want to change this location. I want to keep this workspace in my D projects folder and I will again create a folder. I'm pressing Control Shift and N key on my keyboard to create a new folder. I will say Eclipse projects or Eclipse workspace, whatever you want. You can give any name here and this is where I want to keep my Eclipse workspace. So this is what I will give here. You can also browse from here or directly copy paste the location. So it is in my D projects Eclipse workspace select the folder and now I will say launch. So you can see as I am launching it is creating some folders in this Eclipse workspace folder. So all the settings all that I do on my Eclipse all that I create projects and everything will go here. Okay, so we have got our Eclipse ready and the first thing I see is this welcome screen. Now here we have got some links for some tutorials, some um, application creation video tutorials, some other tutorials here, samples etc. If you want you can check them and see what all is there and then you can click on this hide or click on this close button. Now once you have hidden this welcome screen and you want to see it again you can again go to help and you will see this option for welcome. If I click this it will again take me to this welcome screen. Okay and we have now got our Eclipse workspace. Okay and here as I have already told you if you are using Mac you can open Eclipse from the applications folder and then uh, you can check help if you go to help and say install new software if you want to install any new software any plugins etc you can use here you can use this option and then we have the perspective I will show you that in a moment let us now create a simple project and then we can take a GUI tour of Eclipse so here I'm getting this option here create a Java project this link here if you don't see it here 
you can always go to file new java project okay for now i'm just creating a simple project i will say my first project and eclipse is not just for java it can be used for many other programming languages but just for now i am creating a simple project i am keeping everything as default i have just given the name of the project here and i will say finish i am doing this so that i can uh, show you the gui and give you a gui tour of eclipse so you can see it has created my first project and we have some files and folders inside this project okay now let us check the gui of eclipse and see some of the features of eclipse ide okay so the first thing is the works workbench window so this window that you are you see is our workspace or the workbench window this entire window that we are creating our project on and then it has many other parts so the first thing is the title bar so here you can see this is the at the top we have the title bar here you can see the name of the workspace folder that i am using so this is the title bar it can also show us the name of the project that we are working with and then you will see the menu bar and the toolbar so this thing this menu where we have file edit source refactor navigate search project run window this is the menu bar and here you will see all the options so we have file edit source when you are working with the code this will be very useful we have refactor navigate search project related all the options are un under the project menu run related options under run menu then we have window here you can also check the appearance editor etc if you want to change fonts and appearance etc you can do here then we have the well uh, we have the help menu where we have welcome help contents and you will see tips of the day usage storage eclipse marketplace install new software updates about eclipse so about eclipse will show you all the details about your eclipse that you are using so this is the top menu bar and then we have this toolbar this is the toolbar here you can see all the frequently used actions for the kind of project or the kind of application you are using so here if you see we have this all these cut copy paste create a new here we have the new option new java project all these things are here then we have the run options here then we have the new java package class all these things are here this is the console or terminal and once you will have some code and you will run it you will also see more options here okay so this is the toolbar then we have the perspective so here you will see perspective now sometimes you will see the location is uh, on the side bars here or sometimes it is at the top so this is where you can you will see what perspective you are into so for now if i click here so this is the java perspective and it is open perspective if i click open perspective you can see the other perspectives here git debug java resource etc if you are if you add plugins for other languages like python etc pydev you will also see it here so by default you will have the java perspective and then you can also switch to other perspectives as well from here you can also go from window and here we have perspective you can see open perspective java java browsing debug others and all other options for perspectives are here okay then we have the editor window so here this area is the editor window so if you select any class or any code any file from the project explorer or the project tree or the package explorer here it will open in this editor window and here you can work with your code or files so this is the editor window then we have the project explorer or the package explorer here so you can see project or package explorer here 
Now here you will see your project in a tree structure with all the files folder it has and then you can navigate to your project files and any other libraries any code from here. So this will be very handy. Then you will see different views. So here you can see this is a view where we have sections like problems, java doc, declaration. Then here is another view where you can see task list and other things. Sometimes these are minimized and uh, docked at the sidebar or otherwise it is for example I will close this task list. You will see sometimes it will be docked in the sidebar or at the bottom and then here in the different in this part in this section as we work with our project as we run our codes you can see more views like a console view a terminal view etc okay sometimes you will also see a properties view here so that can also be the case so there are different views here all around the editor window then we have the status bar at the bottom you can see this is the status bar here you can see things like tip of the day then you will also see some other statuses notifications etc the memory usage etc you will see different information as you work with your project in the bottom status bar okay so this is a very very high level overview and features and a GUI of Eclipse this will be very handy very useful to get started with Eclipse and I hope this was very useful if you want you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you and if you have any questions you can let me know I will see you soon. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.